This is Dr. Greger in the kitchen, where I take the science and put it into practice. Today I'm going to share with you my new favorite beverage, a vegetable smoothie. I know that sounds kind of gross, but uh, bear with me. Uh, the idea for this came out of my research into nitrate-rich vegetables like, like beetroot and spinach, shown to improve both oxygen delivery to our tissues by opening up blood vessels and, amazingly, oxygen efficiency, boosting the amount of power we can extract from each breath. Uh, that leads to all sorts of attic performance enhancing benefits, but most importantly, improves lung function and emphysema, brings down high blood pressure, improves peripheral artery disease, boosts cognitive function, may even enhance longevity by slowing our basal metabolic rate, but something like beet juice is perishable, hard to find. I was thinking maybe something like V8 would work, which lists both beet and spinach in the ingredients list, but evidently so little you'd have to drink 19 quarts a day to get the daily nitrate target dose that I recommend. So I figured I'll just make my own. In my new cookbook, it's called my V12 Vegetable Blast, uh, which is more involved, uh, starts completely from scratch from fresh tomatoes, and is uh, tweaked to fit more of a beginner's palate. I want to show this version that I've actually been using whenever I happen to be in my favorite exotic locale, home, and not stuck in some airport food court somewhere. It starts with five reusable bags, and a stock of celery goes into each. All these vegetables are pre-washed. Then one carrot in each bag. No need to peel them. You can just use kind of the back of a knife and just kind of scrape off some of the kind of outermost bitter layer. Then a half of a red, orange, or yellow bell pepper in each. What do you do with the half you have left over? Dip in some hummus, of course. Mmm. Next, one scallion in each with the frilly little uh, tips cut off. Then one fifth of a small beet in each. Any more, it tastes really beady. And then a fifth of a raw jalapeno pepper, which is totally optional, but you know, I love things spicy. A quarter inch of fresh turmeric root in each. If you can't find it fresh locally, get it on eBay. Serious. Kind of looks like a little turd, but then you snap it open and the color inside is just gorgeous. Then saving the best for last, the healthiest food on the planet, greens. Now as you probably guessed, what I'm doing is pre-prepping five days of smoothies here to make it as convenient as possible to eat as healthfully as possible. And so, you know, even though something like arugula has even more nitrates, in fact, I think the most nitrate-packed food there is, and I think is even tastier, uh, there's no way it would last five days. It starts to turn yellow, get slimy. So uh, what I've been using is really hardy greens like kale and curly parsley. Plus, kale has something spinach doesn't have. It's cruciferous. So I'm going to put a cup of each one in each bag. Then all the bags go into the fridge and wait their turn. Uh, then when you're ready to uh, rock and roll, here's what you do. In a high-speed blender, pour one cup of a no-salt added vegetable juice blend or, or no-salt added tomato juice. Then one cup of ice cubes, an eighth teaspoon of freshly ground pepper, then a half teaspoon of horseradish. Um, now I'm actually using prepared horseradish here, 
But, you know, I'm realizing you could probably grate it yourself, actually get horseradish root. I've never actually tried fresh, or you could actually chop up little pieces and put them in all the bags. Um, uh, if anyone tries that, let me know how it, uh, how it comes out. And then finally, uh, the juice from half of a lemon. For a bonus, you can actually zest that lemon. Then cut and uh, juice that half and uh, save the other half for tomorrow. And that's all you have to do day to day, right? So just a couple minutes. And this last step is to just throw in, you know, uh, one of your bags of veggies. Now, to save even more time, what you can actually do is kind of pre-prepare all those wet ingredients where, uh, you know, so this is about four cups. So you could juice two lemons into here, you know, two teaspoons of the horseradish, add enough of the black pepper. So then there's really only three things, three steps every day. A cup of the juice mixture, uh, a cup of ice, and then one of the bags of veggies. Um, and then you're all set for the day. Okay, final step is to just blend for 10 burpees. into about one perfect mason jar. Yep, look at that. Then you pop in a uh, reusable straw and uh, uh, cold, refreshing, zesty. Woo, zesty. Um, and uh, and think what's in this thing, right? It's just all vegetables. It's like a mountain of nutrition, right? It's hard to imagine a healthier beverage. Ideally, I drink it with, uh, while well, munching on some walnuts, pumpkin seeds, maybe a little avocado in there or something, some form of fat. Help you maximize the absorption of all those fat-soluble carotenoid nutrients in there. If, whew, you want more recipes like this, incorporating some of the healthiest foods on the planet? Check out my new cookbook, the How Not to Die Cookbook, now available for pre-order. It'll be out this December, right in time for the holidays. I would say it's a good stocking stuffer, but it's actually kind of big, so your friends and family have to have really big feet, but uh, it makes a great New Year, New You type present as well. All the proceeds I receive from all my books, DVD speaking engagements, all goes to charity. I just want you to be healthier.